<laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Please. Come on. Thank you very much. Now that we have Nancy properly placed, she and I welcome you all to here to the White House. And Senator Childs and Congressman Bennett and our distinguished guests and ladies and gentlemen, good morning and again a welcome. We're here to thank the to mark the progress, I should say, of the fight against drug abuse and to commit ourselves to an even greater national effort in the months ahead. Within the last several years, I think America has come to its senses about drug abuse. We raised a battle flag and declared war on one of the gravest problems that I think is facing our nation. Action replaced debate. We knew the fight wouldn't be easy, but we also knew the we couldn't afford to lose. We we're fighting for the health of our children and the future of America. Well, we've made a lot of progress during these past three years. Permissive attitudes are giving way to a new sense of responsibility. Hopelessness and helplessness are being replaced with optimism and a willingness to join together in the fight. Concerned parents are banding together and hundreds of community and business organizations have joined the ranks. Education programs are erasing 20 years of wrong-headed attitudes about drug use. And we're taking aim where it counts the most, teaching the drug users and potential drug users to say no to drugs. At the federal level, we've taken strong measures to crack down on big money drug traffickers and to catch drug smugglers in the act. Yet we all know that we have a long way to go. About one-fourth of our nation's young people continue to abuse drugs or alcohol, and too many children are still getting into drugs every day. And thousands of teenagers are killed every year in auto accidents due to drunk and drugged driving. As you know, Nancy has traveled across America visiting schools and treatment facilities, seeking every opportunity to promote an anti-drug, pro-achievement generation. In her travels, She's come home to me with stories of heartbreak that she's seen and broken dreams and families and lost lives. But she's convinced, and she's convinced me, that all of us, if we work together, become more involved, more knowledgeable, and step up the fight, can save a generation and help preserve its promise and hope. And doing just that is the heart of our 1984 National Strategy for Prevention of Drug Abuse and Drug Trafficking. The 1984 strategy will be released next week during National Drug Abuse Education and Prevention Week. But let me tell you that we'll be striving to reinforce the program that is now in place. We're on the right track. We don't need to change direction, but we do need to step up the pace. The federal government will redouble its efforts to stop drug trafficking, punishing drug traffickers, and increase international cooperation to control narcotics. But ultimately, victory can only come from the dedication and commitment of private industry, public organizations, local government, and citizen volunteers. We need to get more people involved, particularly in prevention programs, and we'll be calling on the American people to help us. To win this fight, we're going to need the kind of help that those of you here have given to your communities and to all of us. And I know that for each of you here today, there are thousands of other caring Americans who are also giving of themselves. None of you ever expected any reward for what you did. That's the way it's always been in America. But believe me, I'm delighted that we have the opportunity to recognize you today. As chairman of the Texans' War on Drug Committees, Mr. Ross Perot is helping to make Texas one of the worst places in the world for drug users, pushers, dealers, and traffickers. And his committee is now a model for many other states. Mrs. Marsha Manat Schuhard and Mrs. Loretta Siswenger 
have contributed unsparingly of their time, energy, and talents to make lasting contributions to the National Drug Abuse Prevention Program. Mrs. Schuhart was the inspiration behind an acclaimed TV documentary and is the author of two important books on the dangers of marijuana. Mrs. Wenger's drug abuse education program is reaching communities all across America. The unselfish efforts of these two ladies are changing attitudes and saving lives. DC Comics, a division of Warner Communications, represented by William Sarnoff, and the Keeler Company, represented by Thomas Gar Garvin, have worked together to produce and distribute three million drug awareness comic books. And the popularity of their comic book characters is helping to educate our young people about the dangers of drugs and the reasons for them to say no. McNeil Pharmaceutical, represented by Jack O'Brien, is the driving force behind a drug abuse education program that establishes our nation's pharmacists as a local source of credible information and technical assistance on drug use and abuse. And today their program, Pharmacist Against Drug Abuse, is in 85% of our nation's retail pharmacies. Each of you is demonstrating the unique American spirit of volunteerism. In your own way, you're helping resolve the drug abuse problem in a more effective manner than we could ever do with large federal programs. We are grateful for the people you've helped and the people whose lives that you've touched and whose burdens you've lifted because you cared enough to extend a whelping, helping hand and a warm heart. And now I'm going to ask Nancy to help in the handing out of the awards. due respect for Attorney General Smith and the Justice Department and all the others in our drug abuse program here in the attempt to intercept and keep drugs from crossing our borders and coming into the country. I think we all know that the real victory will only come not when we keep on trying, just trying to take the drug away from the customer, when we take the customers away from the drugs. And that's when we'll win this fight. <laughs> Now, before anyone leaves the room, there's one more piece of business. As part of our drug awareness campaign and our national strategy, I will now sign a proclamation designating the week of September 23rd through the 29th as National Drug Abuse Education and Prevention Week. And I want to thank Senator Childs, who sponsored the proclamation in the Senate, and Congressman Bennett, who sponsored it in the House. And would they please come up here and join us? I know that both of you have a strong personal interest in this proclamation, and we're grateful to you for it.
is done. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Thank you very much.